Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're checking out the demo for Blockville, a new city builder in development from SCT. David from the Blockville team reached out and invited me to try the game recently, and I'm always interested in fresh, unique takes on the city builder genre, so I thought it would be fun for us to check out this game together. The demo is freely available on Steam right now if you'd like to check it out with me. Now, the developers describe Blockville as a city builder simulation based on classic children's toys and designed to bring out the inner child of the player as they explore the world, grow their town, and imagine the possibilities of a bottomless toy box. So uh, today we're going to go through the short tutorial prompts and spend a little bit of time building our own town and see what this game is all about. Let's go ahead and get started. So the game gives you two options here when you open up the demo. You can free build your own town, or you can check out the showcase that includes a lot of other buildings and design features that are going to be present in the full game. We're going to go ahead and check out this uh, Meadows map, and let's go ahead and get started. So you can tell that the game is built around different uh, children's toys and like uh, basic blocks and everything, and it's actually kind of a big map. Give you a brief uh, movement tutorial here we'll just satisfy all those this is actually a really really big open world so you can tell there's different resources available uh, like trees there's little plastic bits there's actually these giant blocks over here in places and the game actually has a full day night cycle with i'm not sure if this is actually ray tracing or not but there's actually really realistic lighting effects which i thought was cool in the brief time I checked this up before I sat down to record this video. So first thing we have to do is place a town hall, which is pretty much like any other uh, city builder you might have played before. You have to place your town center or your starting building. So we'll go ahead and click here. And what this does is it gives us our little town hall building and our first little power plant, this windmill thing. So we're going to look for a good spot near some resources here. I want to make sure that we get a pretty good representation of all the different things the game has to offer. So we're going to plop this down, let's say right about uh, right about here in this area. It's going to be a pretty uh, pretty good smattering of things. All right, welcome to Blockville. Let's show you how to run the town. So this is going to be all your different resource counters and everything. you got population, power, imagination points. Uh, imagination points are the currency that you unlock things in the game with and I guess kind of your research, your tech tree. And then there's other things you can do. The game is telling you about uh, how to interact with this stuff and power grids and everything. We'll get to those in a little bit. This is all of your current weather, day, time, and stats and everything. And you can also do an eight time time speed, a four times or normal, or you can pause the game, of course. And then this is other stuff. They call this the imagination screen. This is where you research new buildings and all that different stuff that comes with that and all of your demolition tools and rotation and everything. And then this is the build menu. These are all the different categories you've got. And there's all these different buildings you can build. You do have to research as you progress through the game. And we'll be doing some of that. I'm really excited for these trains. <laughs> so I spent a lot of time as a kid playing with the, uh, the Thomas, the tank engine and all the Brio stuff, the, uh, the wooden tracks and everything. I've got a ton of these in the basement. And then uh, this is just all of your, different uh, mouse uh, keys and everything. So other than that, you just have your happiness meter, which is pretty standard fare for a city builder. Most uh, like SimCity would have your residential, commercial, industrial demand based on people that are wanting to move into your town or whatever. This is just how you can interact with your citizens and figure out what they are looking to get. And there we go. So first step is we're gonna place a lumberjack hut so we can get some wood. You can see wood up here in the top corner used for building and power purposes. So we're going to go into our production right here, this little uh, crane image right here. Lumberjack Hut is the only production building that is currently unlocked at the start of the game. And you can rotate with the mouse wheel and this little uh, green circle with the tree image in it is telling you what part of the forest this building is going to be able to interact with. So I'm gonna move this around until I find, I think 11 it's the highest I've been able to find over here. Unless we move way back here. Oh, wow, yeah. We're going to save that for later, though, because we're going to have this other bigger building. I just want to get something started, so we'll put that right there. And you can see that this is still inside the sphere of influence of the town hall, which is the uh, starting area for power distribution. We'll need to stay in here if we want our buildings to have power. And one other thing that we have to do here is you'll notice that the town is not currently open to, I guess, immigration or arriving, whatever you want to call it. So all we have to do is just click this. 
And now it starts a 30 second timer. After every 30 seconds, you get a new citizen and then you get uh, all this other fun stuff. So now we have to add some houses, of course, which is gonna be in the people menu. And now we just have to figure out a spot near the town hall. We wanna put some houses. I'm gonna try and leave a little bit of space cause I know we're gonna get to trains later. So I'm gonna put some of these just in a little, uh, little arc here. Just our three houses. These are all still in the uh, sphere of influence here, so that's all fine. And now I have to do a plastic hut, which I believe is going to be in production as well. Yep, here we go. So this mines plastic. We have these right here, and we also have these over here are all little plastic things. So let's make sure we have... Okay, we're actually not going to be able to get this super close to the uh, little power area here, based on how I've put these things in but we'll take care of that pretty quickly. This gets us to 35, but we can't place it. Let's see, 20, 30, right there. All right, so now we can see actual people walking around and sometimes they'll have uh, they'll have little things to say, which is always fun. And they, uh, if you take a look at these guys, these are just like the little wooden stand-up people you might've seen in the, uh, like those children's block play sets. So that's like the entire aesthetic of the game is children's toys and all the different things that you might have played with as a kid. I know I spent a lot of time playing with stuff like this. So this is all sorts of fun with that. Let's go to food here. So we want to build the farm, but we can't build it because we haven't imagined it yet. So again, we're going to go to our imagination menu, which is on this whole uh, area of the screen here. And this is your tech tree. So you can zoom out. You can see there's a lot of room for them to add other stuff. Uh, right now we can go and take a look at what else we have here. And I think you can unlock these in pretty much any order. We just don't have enough imagination points to really do too much. So let's see, look at right here. You got the farm is 10 to unlock and we have 45. So we're gonna go ahead and click the star here. That's going to unlock those. And let's get out of that menu, come in here, place a farm. And what the farm does is the farm is going to take your, uh, your land and convert it into food. We just have to find a good spot for it here. It's not going to uh, mesh nicely with everything because of course you can't put a farm in the uh, water or anything. We'll go ahead and put this one say right about here. All right, so that is the extent of the tutorial it gives you. Like I said, it's a very, very basic introduction. I actually placed this a little too close, but that's fine. We'll deal with it. It's a very basic introduction to the game and wants to prompt you to make your own adventure. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We've got the basics, everything that we're going to need to get started successfully. We have, right now we have 10 out of 6 population because we haven't built enough houses yet. And you require 30 wood for each house. We're actually going to pause uh, the immigration real quick and take some time to put a few more houses down. That's going to give us 4. That'll be 5. And it's not going to let me put another one right here because they don't have enough uh, enough wood quite yet. Let's go ahead and yeah, get that back on normal speed. And we have 11 out of 10 people because each house can hold two. We'll build some more houses soon. We just don't have enough wood quite yet. And you can also define different uh, regimes and stuff. We're not probably not going to get into that too much. But we have some imagination points we haven't used. So while it's nighttime, let's take a look at this. So this right here is a fishing hut. We haven't built out close to a lake or anything quite yet, so we won't get there. Uh, windmills, look, all this is just going to take way more imagination points than we currently have. You've got food storage. You've got power stations. You have other residential things like clinics, medium houses, townhouses, large houses, etc. Train stations. We're going to probably speed run these. Uh, recreation stuff, uh, bowling alleys, and all that. And then you also, later on down here, you have a sawmill. Again, we can't unlock any of this quite yet, but we will get there in due time. There's just there's a bunch of interesting stuff to get to. So let's go ahead and kind of fast forward through the nighttime and get to the next morning. This guy's running around because he doesn't have anywhere to sleep, and we can't build anything. Sorry. Oh, it's raining. He's going to get all wet, but he'll be all right. So I believe this is actually like real time relative to the time of day. So almost midnight. Unfortunately, not too much more we can do at this exact moment because we don't have enough wood to build any more houses or anything. But we can take a look at the other offerings here. 
uh, power. This is all your power plants. You have to, of course, research or imagine these things. And they take uh, different things to unlock. Leisure, transport, the monuments. I believe the uh, the spaceport is kind of at this point the like the ultimate feat you can do in the game. Probably won't have time in today's video to get all the way there. But we can check out all the different stuff that we uh, have access to here. Now here comes the sun. I wonder if that would be the east then. It must be. There's no compass in the game or else I would tell you. But now here goes all of our little citizens going to work. I think we can probably... Yeah, we have 132 imagination points. I'm going to go ahead and research this sawmill, which the game treats as a, a larger, more milly and less huddy version of the lumberjack hut. And this requires 200 wood to make. And you'll notice it has a much, much larger sphere of influence. So I think, yeah, we can actually end up placing this over here and still be in our original area. So this will get us 50, 61, 62. I think that's still going to be, yep. And this will support four workers as well. So we can actually go ahead and open up for immigration again. We'll go ahead and put in a couple more houses on the back side of these to try and create some sort of a little community to stack these up nicely. And there's three more. We're already, <laughs> already have a ton more than we can house. So let's, uh, uh, you know, we can probably actually leave them going overnight. It's not going to hurt them because we're just going to keep on building houses and we will shut them off once we get uh, about 30 or so. So we're going to want some extra people here for all the expansion we're about to be building. All right, so that is 30. We're going to go ahead and turn that off. You can see them just running all over the place because they don't have anywhere to go. But that's going to get fixed as soon as everybody starts going to work and getting all of the uh, wood out of here. And the plastic uh, people are probably fine like they are. Uh, Farm-wise, uh, I do know that every citizen, I re read up a little bit of the help text, every citizen eats once in the morning and once at night. So you need two food per citizen. Oh yeah, well, it says right here when you mouse over it. <laughs> if, if they don't eat, they will be hungry the next day, then the day after they will be starving. After one more day, they will die. Shame on you. Let's, uh, let's avoid that, shall we? We have a uh, ability to come in here and make some more houses now. So let's go ahead and do that. I think I can get this to fit one more. Yeah, and this should all still be in here. We are going to build power pylons at some point. Haven't quite gotten there just yet. Now it's dark again. But I think I actually still have... Yeah, I've still got some uh, some wood to burn, so we can actually come up here and build another area here. We are going to have the train go in between these, so I don't know exactly how the train stuff gets mapped, so it's going to be interesting if I do all this, and then I'm going to have to uh, move stuff around anyway. So you see now you have these uh, little lightning bolts that show up. That is your power consumption warning that it's not getting power. So what we're going to have to do here in a minute is build some more power, which means, of course, we have to imagine it. But we can't do that until we have... Uh, well, actually, I think we probably have enough. So this is power station. You can burn plastic or wood to get other stuff. And, of course, that's going to be uh, generating pollution. You have power pylons that extend the reach of power. But right now, our problem is we don't have enough power. So we're going to unlock wind turbines. There we go. And we have solar panels. We're going to do... Those, but those only work during the day, so we might actually hold off on those for now. We're going to do power pylons. I don't really want to do any pollution quite yet. Now, I thought I already imagined this. Did I not? Uh, did I not click that correctly? Or is it not going to let me because I haven't done? Uh, okay, I guess I do have to do these in order. All right, so let's find a good spot to put another one of these. Now these don't make a ton of power, so you kind of have to keep uh, keep an eye out for your consumption. 
So that gives us another three. This is just our initial 15. So that gives us another three, which I don't believe is enough. So we're going to keep on. It's actually, yeah, okay. It's going to let me do that. Put a pair there. Then I think, I think I can get away with just kind of overlapping these a little bit. Or is it not going to let me because I don't have enough? Uh... No, I guess not. All oh, right, because I need uh, plastic. I need more of that. So let's see. We probably should actually be putting in another plastic hut, except I can't because I don't have enough plastic to build a plastic hut. We'll have to wait. I have to wait a little bit. We're still on eight times speed. It's almost morning time anyway, so it'll be fine. People are unhappy because of a boring diet, no power, they're sick, and they're jobless. We're working on it. We're getting there. Don't become angry. You still have food. You're not going to die. You're just going to be bored for a little bit. But here we go at 8 a.m. They're all eating. And then 9 a.m. They should go out to work. And there they go. So now we have enough to get... We're going to go ahead and get off at 8 times speed. We have enough to do another plastic cut. I should probably actually research the plastic mine since we do have plenty of these points. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll spend our 100 imagination points and get that unlocked. And this is going to require 200 plastics, so it's still probably going to be till the end of today to get that done. Uh, looks like we can build another farm, though. So we'll place that right there. And you can actually select different types of food. So this first one is set to wheat. We can do pumpkins, we can do tomatoes, we can do corn. So we're going to do pumpkins, set that to pumpkins. And we're going to actually build a couple more of these. Set this one to tomatoes. And then I think I can get away with building one more. Yep, one more. And then we're going to set that to corn. So now we have each of the four types. Uh, farms don't require the electricity. They don't draw any. So we're free to build those pretty much wherever. And uh, one of the really cool things about this game that we haven't gotten to yet, but I do understand is a feature, is these trains can actually move resources between things. So it's not just decoration. It's actually an integral part of the transportation in the game. So this says cargo trains will passively collect from production buildings as they pass in their radius. If a train passes a sawmill, it collects extra wood and drops it off when it gets close to the station, which is cool. And so, let's see, we've got, people are still angry. They're going to get over themselves because as soon as I get 200 plastic, we're going to build another plastic mine and then going to give people some jobs. We're getting there. Gives you a little countdown timer until it produces more stuff. But you can actually see the different crops in the farm, which I think is cool. So you can, at a glance, quickly tell what's being grown where. I wish I would have lined those up a little better, but that's fine. And now all of a sudden people are happy again. Because now they have a varied diet. But they still don't have enough power, so we're going to have to, uh, we're going to have to fix that. Probably not until we get a, a ton more plastic, at least. Now we also have wood storage and we have plastic st Oh, I have to build this, don't I? I remember I'm learning this for the first time as we're playing together. So where did I see that? Was that over in... Uh... Okay, that's right here. We have a food storage silo. We have wood storage. We have plastic storage. And then this is... Oh, coal. Okay, that's what that other thing on the side of the map was. We haven't gotten there yet, so I'm not going to be worried about that. But we're going to go ahead and do is put in, where did I put the, f I guess it's under food, yeah, food storage, restoring 200 food. And I can't build another one of those because it requires more plastic. But now our plastic mine people can start getting more of that stuff. And then we'll go ahead and put in our plastic storage nearby. Let's say put that right there. That'll get us up to another... Uh, I guess 200 plastic, which means we can then build a plastic mine as soon as we get there. 
as far as power goes, I think we can try to put in... I don't want to block any transportation or anything, but I think we can try to put in a couple of these things where they're not going to be in the way. There we go. And that seems to have helped a little bit with our power generation needs here. So we're already getting somewhere. And we've not been playing too terribly long. Just the wait overnight. Now we still have sick people and we have jobless people. There is, I believe... Yeah, there is a clinic. Uh, we can't obviously build it yet because we haven't imagined it. We don't have enough plastic. <laughs> I didn't even see this help text. Sick people should not be sick when you use a clinic. Healthcare is free and block billed. Looking at you, America. <laughs> I believe the uh, developers of this game are somewhere in Europe. I haven't checked. But yeah, that's a, that's a good one. Sick people should be able to get help. In this Blockville utopia, they sure can. All right, so we're almost ready to get these people going back in here again. As soon as we get our 200 plastic, we'll build another one of those things in the larger form. And then I think we should probably go ahead and check out other stuff. Can we research this yet? Yes, we can unlock the clinic, unlock the medium house, a uh, florist, flowerist. I don't know if that's a pun or just a different spelling. Uh, townhouses and then large houses. We won't get there quite yet. Uh, oh, oh! I want to unlock the trains. All right, we're doing trains. Straight rail, right rail, and left rail. So now trains are unlocked. And I don't think we're close enough to... Uh, well, you know, we could probably actually fish in here. So why don't we, while we're waiting for them to get... Okay, no, we actually have enough. Let's uh, put in our plastic mine here. Let's start right there then I think that will be okay for that. I think we can go in here and research our fish now. Yeah, fishing huts. We have windmills. I'm assuming that's for grinding stuff to make uh, flour. Yep, bakeries and honey farms. So let's go ahead and put in our fishing hut. 250 wood, 40 plastic. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what we want right here. Try to move it a little closer. I guess we'll just do this. It'll cover most of these. Yeah, there we go. Pop that there. Again, that doesn't require power, which is nice. Now, we have the train. We can't build it quite yet, but when we uh, when we get there, we're going to have to find a good spot for this and have something that goes all the way around the entire town. I don't see any diagonal stuff, so I think we're going to have to do diagonals just by going completely left, completely right, again and again. Just like when you were good playing with those Brio trains. There is no 45 degree, there is only 90 degree bends. So you got to get a little creative as you're uh, moving your train around your house. So we'll go ahead and put this guy right here near the middle of town. And these actually snap together, which is really cool. It's not going to let me put that there. Will it let me... Oh, I can. I can actually do this, but it's going to be bound to the, uh, wherever the, uh, thing is going. Can I demolish this? Yes. Okay. Oh, I might have, uh, I might have made an error here. So we're actually going to come around, let's say around this side first. See how close it's going to let me get here. I don't know. Okay, no, it doesn't like the uh doesn't like that, so we'll have to go around this way. And I believe trains are the only method of transit in uh in this game, which is fully approved by me, being a massive uh massive train nerd like I am. I think we're gonna have to go past Yep, right here, and this is of course our uh, sawmill, so having it go right by that is going to be perfect. And I think it might be a little bit of a long journey to get back around here, but we are going to uh, we're going to see what ends up happening with that now. 
Trains need coal to move, which we will get to. Uh, there is some coal over here, which we will eventually be able to uh, make our way over and take advantage of. But we'll see why people are a boring diets. You have all this food, and you're going to tell me you have a boring diet? And you even have fish. What are you talking about? Come on. They probably want bread, so we're going to unlock windmills and bakeries. And then I think we should probably put in some more food storage while we're over here. We'll just pop a couple more of those in. And then windmills, yep. 1.25% boost, or percent, 1.25 times boost to farms in a radius. I think, yeah, it looks, uh, looks like that's going to have an effect on all of these guys. Now how far away... Okay, so we probably should have actually thought a little bit better about this, because now you have... No, I didn't place that in the right spot. Nope. Let's try that again. I guess it lets you get a lot closer. Yep. It's not going to let me put that there, is it? No? Okay. Well, we'll just try for these two right now. If you have wheat, this dude will bake bread. Okay, so let's uh, let's just put this guy right here, and then we'll do uh, we'll do honey farms a bit later. Now, of course, they're happy, except that they're sick. So we're gonna fix that. We've got our clinic right here. Take advantage of that beautiful Blockville free healthcare as soon as we get up to two hundred and fifty uh, plastic. I think we're probably gonna have to build another storage thing here which we won't be able to do until we get to 100 plastic. So it's going to be a little bit. It shouldn't be too terribly long. Okay, there we go. There's another 100. Pop that in there. And then as soon as we get up to 200, we will put that clinic in. So in the meantime, let's go ahead and try to get over here then pop in nope that's the other way around so I think now I can put in yep looks like that I think we'll have uh now we'll, we'll actually we'll get a little bit closer here just get rid of these nope wrong way then we'll come up here have this run right past come all the way down here I keep getting these backwards for some reason. All right, we have 151 plastic. I am keeping an eye on all this. So this is this is actually a lot longer of a, uh, of a route than I thought. We might want to make sure that we can actually build through the forest. I don't know that we can. We probably can't, actually. So I'll tell you what we'll do is... Oh, I can't delete this, can I? No, I can we're going to move the train out of this area because I can't uh, I can't build through the uh, little problem I created here. I wonder I should probably just delete the farm. Actually, can these go across the river? They can. Okay, cool. So that's what I'll do is I will get rid of the corn because it's empty. We'll move this uh, thing out of the way. I guess we can actually put this back where it originally was. Or did I have a uh, straight piece? I know I promised to do uh, <laughs> to do the clinic when as soon as I had the uh, ability to. So we're gonna go ahead and put that there. They've got that uh, taken care of here. Boring diet. Come on. No, you don't have a boring diet. You just have a boring life. Get, get some excitement. We'll get you guys something else to do in a minute here. 
All right, let's pop this in right there like it was. I think we can do one more. And then this should let us go all the way across without complaint. Is it not going to let us, uh, not going to let us do this, huh? What if I did? No? Okay, let me do that. All right, so I think we're going to have to get a little creative here with how this goes across the, uh, across the river. It seems there's some sort of, uh, a limitation to what it can actually do going across something. We're going to figure it out. Or does it just not let you go across at all? Is there, is there something you can, uh, something you can research for that? I don't see. Okay, no, that's a regular bridge. Uh, okay, I've got graves, I guess. We can unlock all these other things since we have tons of points here. I uh, got lamp posts, square fountains, circle fountains, circle fountain two, question mark, wooden finch, bench, and flower pot. So if I put in, okay, let's, let's pause this before we get too out of hand. Okay, now a bridge is a decoration. I don't think the train is going to impact that at all. Will it let me? There's no reason for this to work, so I'm not going to get mad if it doesn't, but will it let me? Oh, that's, kind of, that's strange. It doesn't seem to, uh, it doesn't seem to care if I put a, a, a train piece underneath all that. Okay, why are we upset? Boring diet, CS. Okay, I have to rebuild the pumpkin farm. Was it the pumpkin farm? No, it was the corn farm. I have to rebuild the corn farm, which we will do. I believe I can get away with putting it. Let's say right here. Uh, we'll call this corn. Hit the check mark. Uh, okay, so we have to place graves. We're going to at some point. Let's also uh, open up jobs here. I just get so excited playing with trains, I lose track of everything else. So I guess it doesn't want you to go across rivers, which is understandable, but I do hope that's something that they will put in a future game. Also, a uh, multi-delete function would be nice for times like this where I make a, make a mistake and can't do something with the trains. So we're going to have to... Uh, keep our train adventures over here on this side of the map which we will go ahead and fix real quick yeah see there goes all our happiness as soon as we bring back the uh, other types of food now I think now here I go here I go again with my uh, failed political promises as the mayor of Blockville here taking all the food away and replacing it every, I don't know, two minutes. We'll leave that there. I'm actually going to, I believe I can, if there's a radius, I have to be within everything. Okay, we're, we're just going to, uh, can I hit like the delete key or something? No, I have to actually click that. All right. Oh, I also could have clicked the very obviously labeled toggle destroy mode button, so that's on me. Oh, that's so much easier. That's the, the one downside about having a, a train system with one size, one size of track is if you make a tiny mistake, you have to move the entire thing, which is, well, it's authentic to playing with these things as a kid, but it's not a, not always super easy to work with. So now we have 67 people. We need more houses. So let's go ahead and put in some medium houses. Since we have the ability to uh, 
to add those now. I'll just pop in a couple of these. And now, of course, we need more power because we have been, uh, I guess, overloading all of our, uh, our stations. You can actually see they have these power lines that go between them, which is just kind of a neat thing. Kind of a neat touch there. Still need more power. So since we're not going to have any trains over here for the time being, let's see if we can find another spot to put more of these guys. I know we are going to get over here where the coal is, which I believe we have to come over and, yes, coal mine, unlock the coal mine, and an armory. What are we doing with an armory? Are there guns in this game? I didn't know that. Let's do uh, production. <laughs> Say goodbye to that climate target. <laughs> I love the uh, the humor in this game. This is actually really funny. I think there are a couple other things. Why are these people mad? Boring diet, no power, jobless, homeless. Man, you know, all right. Needy people wanting food, power, and jobs. Hmm. Well, we'll take care of this all the same anyway. I th think... I think I can leave this open for, what is this? Is this like snow? What is this? It looks kind of like the snow area, but it's in the middle of summer. So I don't know, uh, don't know what's up with that. All right, let's see if I can find, yeah, we'll put that in there. Okay. That seems to have taken care of our problems for now. That's right. I was coming over here to place the uh, coal mine, which I can't do until I have 250 plastics. So probably I should actually be putting in another plastic mine instead as soon as we get to uh, 200 plastic, that is. All right, now, boring diet. We have a fish. We have all four types of this. We have a... Oh, the bakery is not powered. Okay, that would uh, very easily explain why that wasn't working. Uh, I think I can put in a power pylon, looks like. Or is this going to say it doesn't have any power? No, but it must not be close enough. All right, well, we'll get rid of that. I do like it gives you the resources back. That's a nice touch. All right, I need these plastic mine people to get going here. We've got stuff to do. I think I can now put in just a moment. I can put in another plastic mine over here. We might actually do a couple of them. This one will do 90... I guess it doesn't, it won't let you overlap, which is interesting here. The 36. Yeah, we'll try that. We'll do some plastic storage over here as well. Of course, these guys don't have any power, so we'll have to build them a uh, nice eco-friendly wind power station. Except now I think we need two. I don't have enough plastic for that. Typical me overbuilding before I have the uh, ability to actually do anything with it. Boring diet, jobless, homeless. You know what? I thought we st I thought we had enough houses for everybody. Oh, I didn't know that. So apparently, armory is a work in progress. If you spawn a dinosaur, you can fight it, but it's very buggy. I don't think we're going to get to that in this video, but if we do another one... That'll be something fun to keep an eye out for. So we've got townhouses and we've got large house. We'll go ahead and unlock all those. Oh, I love density. I am so glad. I am so glad that we have density in this game. This requires... Wait, hold on. What is What is that? Is that a flower? No, okay. Oh, okay. So we actually need... Um, Is that going to be... Okay, so that's what this is. You have to have a florist to get the uh, the flower stuff. Okay, so we'll unlock. Where is that again? Full storage. No. 
did I not uh did I not unlock that? So I got the honey farm. Unlock the honey farm. I thought one of these would have had to have been. We'll just unlock all this. Why not? Flower pots, wooden fences. Did I just miss it? Or is that not an unlockable? Build? Okay, no, here it is. We actually already had that unlocked. I was just looking in the wrong section here. I say as I still can't find it. There it is. Okay, that's exactly what I was trying to figure out what that was going to be for. So let's see. We should, at this point, we should have enough for everyone to go in and do, uh, do jobs. I don't think we're still missing anything. So now we can come over here. I believe we should have enough resources here to put in a coal mine. Yep, sure looks like it. 51. It's going to be the highest it's going to give us. Yeah. So we'll do that. We'll put in some coal storage. Then I think I uh, almost have 200 plastic, but I want to put in the train. Because we have the... Uh, we have all this right here. So let's put the train there. I think we can make this kind of go around in a little bit of a loop here. How is this going to be? Yes. Now there goes that happiness way up. All right. So we have, nope, I didn't want to put that there. Got this guy, this guy, this guy. Is this going to be enough room? No. Okay, we'll get rid of that. Hopefully that is close enough for us to uh, still be able to take advantage of the little bonuses we get for that. All right, that should hit the fishing thing. I don't really know if it matters necessarily, but we'll just kind of go in a little loop around all these different things. Make sure we select the right type of rail. And then we'll have it go over here because there's going to be another sawmill there eventually. Pop that guy in there. I'm actually going to start building around this way. So I think I was getting confused because I wasn't building out of the right side of the station. This is actually connecting points out everything's matching up so I think we're all good there I honestly just want to watch the trains go and to be uh, completely honest with you good lord this video is getting long we'll have to uh we'll have to make sure we keep an eye on everything here but I don't know this is just fun you know stuff like this all right can I nope I want this other one and I think if I've done this correctly I need to put in huh. I've got to figure out how this fits in here because it shouldn't be possible for this to be uh, okay yeah I just need to uh, I just need to make this all match up here with the correct cool that's a complete loop which means I can spawn a train can add a carriage for... Oh, this is cool. I don't have enough coal, so we do have to wait for the coal to actually start going. How much power does this draw? Three? Tell you what, we'll just go ahead and put this power station here because we can. Oh, that's the pollution zone. Okay. So maybe... Okay, put that there. We'll put in our uh, plastic mine. I think that should still work. We can actually over here, but not armories. We have flowers. Uh, we don't want to go inside our uh, little death area, so let's actually put in Let's put some large houses over here. I 
guess we need to put in some power pylons. What orientation are my... Uh, it looks like that's going to be fine there. So these should should interact unless I have to have no I don't know maybe they have to be uh okay there we go that's all caught up so now we have our little train is going all by itself does it have uh cars attached to it it sure does hey <laughs> oh this is fun all right now we have okay I gotta slow this down so I can actually see so they're actually picking up stuff, it looks like. I wish there was some sort of a dialogue that would tell you exactly what the... Uh... Okay, there it is. One coal every two seconds. That's the consumption. It's not going to tell us what's on the thing. Okay, that would be a cool thing for them to implement in the future to tell us exactly what's uh, what's going on. Okay, these people are still jobless and have a boring diet. What what more do you want, honestly? Um, I guess we could put in a honey farm. Probably shouldn't do it in a sphere of pollution. Is that not going to... Okay, yeah, that's going to tell me there. I guess the honey is probably okay here. Let's try that. All right, so now I think we can actually turn on our immigration again. Get people coming back into town. So let's actually now create a... Uh, I think this will work. Yeah, we'll create a little power bridge here. I think this should be... Should be all good. Put in one right here. Put in one right here. That should cover all of that. I think if I can find another spot here. Right here and then right here. That should bridge the gap between all of these. Okay, we've got a fishing thing. We've got the sawmill. I guess the train doesn't get close enough to the sawmill. Oh, okay, okay, I see what it's doing now. Storage, 50 plastic, so is it taking stuff taking stuff to storage? Let's find out. I guess we should probably put in some plastic storage along the tracks and see if it uh, tries to do anything with that. Pop that next door, put in some, some more power here. Now if I get away with doing these, is that going to bridge our gap here? If these go away, doesn't look like they are, so I think we might be, either they're not producing enough power, Oh, it's running on backup. Okay. Okay, so it should be running on a coal because we have a coal mine that has a... Hopefully a little storage. So I guess this is... This needs to be uh, put here that should connect. No? Or we just don't have enough power output. Is that what that is? All right, let's just try to put in a couple more of these guys. Three more of those, not enough? Is that because we have too many people? I think we need to put in some more uh, houses here. We've got large houses, townhouses. That's what I was really wanting to put in was these townhouses. So let's actually find a uh, spot right here. Put them all in a nice neat row. 
And that gets us up to an even 100. I think we're in pretty good shape here. We should probably... No, we've got plenty of food. And they're in the middle of harvesting. Uh, power consumption. Okay, yeah. Power consumption goes down because people are not working the coal mine. So I wonder... It's got backup power, so it stores power based off of... That I guess we should probably look into putting out... Maybe some solar panels. I know that's not going to work at night. Or anybody has a uh, comment to make about that. And I guess they store power too, which is kind of cool. So we'll just put a couple more of those out. I was thinking that we would have... We'd have enough... Uh, stuff here for these to work with each other, but I guess maybe not. I think this is the sphere of influence for these things. It should be. Alright, and they're boring diet, boring diet. You, people are insatiable, huh? I guess we probably should be building additional farms since we're, uh, Kind of, I guess, uh, overbuilding here. Let's see, we got wheat. We'll go ahead and select that for that one. And pumpkins again. And then I think we just have to do corn. We're not going to build a train through here anyway, so I guess I can go ahead and put this farm back in place. Except now that I have the ability to actually know where I'm placing something, I will... Maybe not, because there's a tree there. All right, we'll just... Stick that guy there and live with it. He's going to become tomatoes. And I think I can put one more. Yeah, I'll put him like that and he's going to be corn. I think we can put in some more uh, food silos, food storage. Should be okay in a food land over here. All right, let's turn our immigration back on, get up to 100 or so. And then see what else we can build. Oh, we're coming up on an hour. <laughs> so I want to make sure we try to get through as much as possible before we uh, finish up today's video. This is actually genuinely fun. I hope you'll take a chance to uh, try out the demo yourself. There's a whole lot you can play with that we haven't really even touched at all yet. And uh, I don't want to let this get too far away from me. I want to make sure I unlock all these buildings so that we can... Uh... Is this already unlocked? Did I already do these? No. I do want to try and make sure we can get through most, if not all, of this. I think the rest of these are already done. Uh, I'll keep an eye on this to make sure we don't get over capacity here. All right, let's turn that off again. We have all these leisure things we haven't built yet. Uh, so we've got a bowling alley. Boy, that's big compared to the other uh, the other stuff in the game, isn't it? Put this right here. And we've got us. Wow, okay, cinema. Wait, what did that say? <laughs> Life half three, showing soon. All right, somebody somebody over at SCT has a good sense of humor. Let's, uh, let's put this guy over here. <laughs> Life half three. Yeah, I don't think we're ever going to get Half-Life 3, but wishful thinking is always a always a fun thing to do, huh? Okay, there's the front of this guy. We'll put him next to those houses. Man, if you were a kid and you lived next to the uh, the pizza place, you'd be like, your life would be complete, huh? We've got fountains. We've got bridges. I wonder... Oh, yes! You can actually do it for train tracks. Good. Good, good, good. We'll put that there. Perfect. That is beautiful. <laughs> I love it. Uh, oh, lampposts, huh? Okay, okay. All right, now we, we need more power. So let's uh, let's put in a couple more of these these guys. How is our our plant doing here? So I guess they're not using uh, 
not using the coal because we don't have enough coal, or what's going on with that? I don't have another coal deposit over here to mine, it seems. But the uh, lampposts don't actually consume any light or any light, any power. So why don't we... Okay, well, I, I can't because I don't have enough plastic. Oh, no, I was just in the way of the building. Okay. So we'll try, we'll try putting some lamps around different spots in the town. I appreciate you can kind of free rotate these within a certain uh, restriction here. So let's just put a bunch of these in front of the houses, see what that looks like when the sun goes down. It would be really cool if it was dynamic lighting like everything else. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. All right, I am in love with this game. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, this looks so cool. With all these things lit up. Yeah, you can't beat that. That is one thing I think a lot of games just really miss out on, is having that dynamic lighting from different user placeable objects. I think it's cool. So in the back of the uh, townhouses, I think. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and put some lamps here. And then around this as well. Yeah, get a couple of these guys going. Just place a few more here. And we'll cover a, a couple of other things and then we're going to be pretty much out of time for this video. I don't want to have this be too terribly long, but it is just so cool to have street lights that you can actually place yourself in a game. It's pretty rare. I don't think a lot of people uh, appreciate the amount of work that has to go into putting in a dynamic lighting system when you're doing game development. Now, I can't... Oh, we can't do this without... We can't get out of here without making a rocket. Okay, we have the uh, we have the technology... Where can I put this? Okay, it needs 500 coal, 1,000 wood, 2,500 plastic. So I think we are going to have to put in uh, additional plastic storage, looks like. We'll just put a whole bunch of these over here. Can I fit another one here? No? Okay. Now, uh, what about on this other side here? And I think we have some more space over here. Now, I wish it would tell us what our... Okay, it does. 3,150 uh, sawmill. We're going to place one right here. Put in some wood storage next door. And see... We have seven idle citizens. Man, these guys will not stop complaining about their boring diets. Come on. Okay, there's not enough bread. How's this? Is this really not powered still? Okay. Let's take a look and see why that might be happening. Easiest way to fix it is uh, probably just build another one of these over here. Yep, there we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that should work. We'll put in another bakery. I know there's not really a whole lot of rhyme or reason to... What, what is this? Is this Stonehenge? How did I not see this? <laughs> oh, that's fun. That's cool. There the happiness goes. Now they're just complaining because they're jobless. All right, well, there's plenty to do, so... Come on down and get to work. I think we're going to be okay. What kind of, how much wood storage do we have? Okay, we need more wood storage if we're going to have a, uh, a rocket ship here. So let's put in some more wood storage there. We'll put some here. Can I fit two? No, probably not. Uh, I think I can put in another sawmill over here. Yep, looks like it. We'll give them something to do. Can I put... There, is that going to... Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Now we have storage capacity of... Oh, almost. We just need a little bit more. Now, is there another... 
No, I did not put one here. So we can go ahead and put in another sawmill right there. Put that guy there, and I think... Yeah, now they're just complaining about the boring diet. That's good. We'll get uh, pumpkins and all that stuff harvested. Plenty of honey, which is good. I guess we still need more power. Uh, what about... Putting in some solar power here. Do some other stuff on the other side of the river. Okay, that should uh should help a little bit. Looks like we're doing okay. Now if we click on our train buddy, we can catch him. Yeah, see it's picking stuff up and taking it in and out of storage. That's so cool. Love that. Absolutely love that. Now we're looking on our Okay, we just need 500 coal. I don't think this is going to hold. No, it'll hold up to 700. We just don't have. Uh, we just don't have another coal. Okay, here we go. Here's coal. It's just going to be kind of uh, kind of out of the way. Coal mine. Let's do 100 of that. We'll put in some coal storage next door. Then I think. I think I can build a. Uh, a chain of these going all the way up here that should power everything. Now we might actually not have enough workers here, so let's go ahead and open this up. We'll add in some more uh, houses down here in this area around the coal mine. Add a couple more of those. Put in another power pylon. Very scenic. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right. Uh, is that because we don't have enough power? It looks like it. Okay, so I actually don't need, don't need to have all of these here. We just need some more power. So yes, I realize the irony of having solar panels next to a coal mine. But uh. We're going to give it a shot, putting in some of these guys right here. See if that will help with our power woes. Looks like it does. The tooltip for the uh, the mouse over tends to hide stuff sometimes, so it would be nice if that could be semi-transparent at least. Oh. I will, of course, include all sorts of feedback when I get back in touch with the devs, and that will be in there. Yeah, we are, uh, <laughs> I know I said I wasn't going to go over an hour, but we're, we're having too much fun. We've got a pretty good amount of stuff going on here. I, I want to get that rocket built. We have a capacity of 900. And I think we can get there. I just need to, uh, just need to get the rest of this uh, built over here. Okay, let's turn off our immigration again. We still are out of our... Uh, out of our depth when it comes to housing. So let's go ahead and put in some more houses out here in a nice row like so. I think, yeah, that should be exactly even 135. Uh, let's put in some lamp posts. Come on. All right, that helps make stuff a little more, a little more homey here. I guess that's their backyards, technically. If you take a look at how everything is set up. I think once we have this other coal mine going, then we can get the, uh, get the rocket ship built pretty quickly. I just need to have seven, no, 500, okay. Oh, man, look at this thing. Okay. <laughs> Let's pop this bad boy right here. Now they're going to have to come over here and build this. Oh, so you can actually see it come right out of the ground. That's cool.
This thing's big. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, now. Okay, so it takes 47 hours to fuel it. Then I guess it blasts off? Okay, we'll, uh, we'll come back in and check on that in a little bit. We've got our own little secondary town over here doing its thing. Uh, let's give these guys a clinic. So they have access to that. Um, put in a pizza place. Because why not, right? <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Our train is still doing stuff over here. Okay, they still need some power. So I think we can get away with putting in a couple more of these windmills. I wish I could see the orientation of these when I uh, when I put that in there. But I think now, yeah, during the day I think we're doing fine because we have all the solar panels. But now this is looking cool. And there's so much more we can do we didn't even really get too much into. There's the, uh, well, I guess we built all these. We haven't messed with the dinosaur, which I think I can do if I turn on God mode. I can put in those things. Um, let's put in some fountains while we wait. Got an opportunity right here in front of the town hall. And a fountain that's going to be... Oh, cool. Okay, we can put in flower pots. We could actually, if we wanted, we could make a... Uh, a little... Like, actual decorated town square thing. That's kind of cool. Put 90 degrees here. These aren't perfect, but... Still pretty nice. Put in some uh, street lights in the corner. Yeah, that's not bad. That's looking pretty cool. We do have nine graves. I guess because I starved them to death, so uh, <laughs> bad mojo on me. Yeah, well, if you were good to your people, you shouldn't really need this. SMH, stop it. Get, stop it. Get some help. What a great meme. So I guess I can be uh, thoroughly shamed <laughs> for, for letting my... Uh, Letting my people die, I guess we can uh, find a nice spot on the map to put this. Maybe up here next to this kind of Stonehenge thing. That's that's exactly the kind of vibes this has given off. So let's turn this into a uh, a burial site for people, shall we? <laughs> okay, that should take care of all of that. And I guess I can't delete these, which is you know probably a good thing. But I wonder if this is going to have some sort of future significance with like aliens or something kind of reminds me of the fifth element almost with the uh the glowing symbols on here but i think our rocket is probably yeah it's pretty close boring diet okay there we go 21 are jobless really i find that kind of hard to believe with all the stuff we've already put in here i guess i guess we could put in a couple more things while we're waiting here Got a florist. Yeah, we can put that one in there. That's another couple of jobs. Get us down to 19. I think there's some other stuff we haven't really done too much with. We can put another uh, another florist right here. We've got room for another sawmill. And some wood storage right next to that, of course. That should take care of those problems. Clean air, good. 135 people think they have clean air and 45 think they have a nice house. I'm assuming that's the large house. Oh, they give their street names? How did I not? Wow, that's cool. 27 Baker Street SRT, I'm assuming is what that's supposed to be. Okay, so these are all... I wonder why these have different... Uh, I'm assuming this is all automatically generated. White Cross Road. I guess that's just based on proximity. That's still pretty cool. Would love to see that further refined and improved in the... Uh, whatever updates we end up getting for this before full release. Okay, so they are... I guess we're not growing enough. 
might not be growing enough uh, different things. Uh, people are going to go to work and they're going to harvest all their stuff. I think the rocket's ready. Yeah. Rocket is ready. So let's um, let's go down to normal speed. It is 11 a.m. We've got our whole town in view. Most of it. I can't even zoom back far enough. All right. Let's launch this thing. There we go. Taking off into the sky. Then it disappears. Eventually. That's cool. Is that like a permanent thing? Or can I... Uh... Well, I guess that's it. It just keeps going up and up and up. But yeah. That's the end of the demo. Thanks for playing. Feel free to continue. So I guess we actually did complete everything. What a fun game. Honestly. All the, uh, the different uh, child toy inspired aesthetics I think are really cool. Um, I love the trains. I wish the trains could go across the river, and if they can and I just did it wrong, uh, please feel free to let me know in the comments if you uh, played this game before. But it's just, I love being able to just send the train around to get the different stuff and have it move things between storage as it goes back around. That's just cool. That's a really good environmental design to have things that interact with each other. Different uh, building types are neat. Have all the different uh, types of resources. And we haven't spent a whole lot of time looking at the people walking around, but it's cool to see them like, you know, actually interact with stuff. And they go to their jobs and they eat their food. And you have the dynamic happiness meter and everything. I mean, the jobless thing, I probably could have spent a little bit more time trying to fix. They also talk too. Every once in a while, you can catch them saying something. We haven't really taken too much of a look at that, but every every once in a while, they'll say something. Like that guy said, I have so much to, to what? Love this fresh air, love this fresh air. I'm assuming that's the uh, the clean air commentary people. So that's what we, yeah, this game's a lot of fun. Just give it a shot. The demo's on Steam, it's free. Um, I mean, we, we only spent past 70 minutes playing, but there's so much more you can end up doing to uh, create your own custom town layouts and stuff. And there's definitely more we could have done, but I wanted to make sure we give you a pretty good overview of at least what this version of the game is about. I know they're working toward a full release sometime next year, so we will definitely be keeping tabs. Again, I encourage you to check it out. A whole lot of fun. Thanks again to David from SCT for reaching out and inviting me to try the demo again. I uh, hope you enjoyed. We'll be back again tomorrow with some more Timberborn content. I know a lot of you have been waiting for that, and we have a couple other new games coming up as well, so I hope you'll stick around. And uh, thanks for being here. Appreciate you. And we'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.